Hi, this is Mark Carrington from GoForYogaHealth.com. This is the third video in the series of Stage 1 of Growing Engaged Twitter Followers Using Staged. And you'll remember that I've been contrasting using traditional Twitter tools and the staged tool set. So let's just get a picture of where we are. Um, today is the 4th of March, and we last talked on the 18th of February. So where we are is, is that we have followed 803 people, we have 249 followers, and we have made 25 tweets. So let's just go to our spreadsheet and just summarize where, we, where we've come from. So we'll see here. 249 followers, 803 following, which means we have followed 635 new people in this period from the 18th to the 4th, and we have made 25 tweets. So that is the activity. And so let's just talk a little bit about the tweets, and let's talk a little bit about the following, because over a period, we, we now have 803 following and 249 followers clearly have a large number of people that have been not engaged at all in what we're doing. Part of that will be because we've only made 25 tweets. So I'm going to focus then on dealing with the following and the followers ratio. It's Twitter places some importance on this ratio. So there's a process here of we're trying to keep following people that are going to be engaged. So the ones that are going to follow back. So the smart thing to do is to try to get rid of people that are basically not interested. Now the challenge on on in Twitter is is if I hit the following button here, so we can see all the people that I'm following. Now, what I can't tell from here, as we just run through this list, is who did I follow first? Who has large followings? Who is inactive? And all I can guess is, is that as I scroll down to the bottom here and it keeps refreshing is as these are the people that I followed the furthest time ago. But quite frankly, that is all guesswork. And Twitter provides no way of helping us to to identify. And we can't tell well, what which of these people, the gap between this number here and this number here, these two, is to which we don't want, the last thing we want to do is to unfollow someone who is actually following us. So we, so the, the, what I've had to do, what we all have to do is we've got to go to Google and say, are there some tools that can help us to follow and unfollow? So I have just typed into the Google search here, follow and unfollow in Twitter, and there are a bunch of tools. The tool that is recommended by these sorts of articles here is this one here called Crowdfire. And I have set up my account on Crowdfire. So we'll just let it load up. And when you first start out, it will ask you to, to connect your two accounts. So you can see here, we are definitely looking at the correct account. And it has gone through a process of identifying a number of, first thing it's done is the people who are not following us. And it's listed them from oldest first or newest first. We, it gives us the option of recent unfollowers. So the people who have unfollowed in the last couple of days. Oh, and if I'm following them or not, so you can see here it's listed three recent unfollowers. It's actually only listing two, and I'm not following them anyway, so that's not a problem. And then recent followers, people that I could actually consider. So they followed me, and they've just identified, so I could consider following these people 
directly and I will actually do that right now. So and, and applying my same principles is if there's words in English and a photograph I will follow. This person has got no photograph, no words and someone is related, she's got no words I might have to look at her profile. I can click on her profile to have and see what does it really mean to put customers at the center of your corporate strategy. I'm not interested. In, she's not interested in yoga. She's interested in selling stuff. So there we go. So the recent followers, we have followed a few of those. But what I'm really interested in is the people that are not following me. And there are two ways to look at those um, the people that are not following me or the people that are inactive. Now on the inactive, we have a choice of looking at people who have been active, inactive for one month or more, three months or more, or six months or more. I'm going to look at three months or more. And basically I'm going to unfollow everybody who has been inactive for three months or more. There are only two in here, so we might have to go and and look at people who have been inactive for one month or more. And we'll see here, I've got some fairly small followings here, 10 tweets, 107 followers. And I'm basically going to unfollow these. And of course, I'm going to discover a few that snuck, snuck through my screen. There's got no words here other than the word yoga in their title, and there are only five tweets. So they're not exactly busy people. So I'm basically going to unfollow every single one of these people who's been not active in the last month because what we're really interested in is engaged followers. So we might as well focus on people that are actively involved in following. And we have seen we have unfollowed 28 people and then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to unfollow followers that I followed some time ago that have not followed me back. Now these first two here, Pop Sugar Beauty and Nat Geo Photos, are two of the people that were suggested early on to give you a leg up. Don't need them now because I have 254. I'm standing on my own. I'm going to leave this one in place because I've retweeted her, her tweets and progressively just work through the list here and get rid of our leave yoga journal in place. I'm going to leave yoga works in here because these are people with large followings and yoga and the and this is where I've been following their followers. So these few I'm going to leave in place. And then once I get below this this particular person here, yep, yeah, I'm going to unfollow. And you'll notice that the, the process of pressing these buttons, it takes a certain amount of time. This actually saves you from landing up in trouble with Twitter. Do not try to write a script that does this thing automatically. And Twitter gets a little bit fussy about how many people you unfollow in a day. On this particular application, Crowdfire is a free application. They will put a limit on the number that you unfollow. And you'll see here in this top corner here, the unfollow number here, 74. I have, um, so I've unfollowed 74. I'm going to keep this below 100. It's going to chop out at 100. I'm not being very specific about these people because basically I have followed them. They've had three weeks to think about it. And, and Crowdfire has now warned us that we have crossed the daily unfollow limit of 100 unfollows. So that is, that, that's a limit that Crowdfly applies, but it's consistent with what Twitter allows. So if we step back across to here, do a refresh, we should see that this number here, which was 803, has now come down to 709. So that is the first step of building an engaged following, is keep these two numbers a little more in 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 balance by periodically unfollowing people who are not following you and certainly getting rid of people who are not active tweeters and keep that a bit more in balance and later today I will follow a few more people so I've unfollowed a hundred so I can go follow a hundred more people and we'll get these things more in line the the next thing I want to talk about is 
is I'm going to do it by example is part of the process of building engaged followers is to deliver content and what we what we know full well from Facebook from Instagram and from all the likes is that photographs work so what I've done here is I have drawn some photographs in here so this first tweet here is a photograph this tweet here is a photograph um, and this tweet here is a photograph so those are and this one here so these are new that have come in since yesterday when I set this up so these few tweets there's four or five tweets that have come in since yesterday now where I have found those tweets those photographs is is that I have I have captured them from Instagram so if I go across to my Instagram account basically what I've done is I have looked for in the search box for yoga now just quickly on Instagram Instagram you have to open your account on a smartphone application either Apple or an Android phone um, but you can operate the the platform on your computer once you've set it up so I've just searched here for for yoga and and I've put the hashtag in front of it and done that for a very specific reason because I want to go and find photographs that have been hashtagged and I I quite like this one here called yoga everywhere because I want to create an an image and a story around the power of yoga as part of everyday everyday life so we can see there are 1.1 million posts that's a popular hashtag and the photographs are some of these photographs is 2600 likes 2000 likes these are sorted by likes some of them have tips and keys on how to do things some of them are pure advertising which is no surprise but there's some really fabulous photographs and as I work my way through here I could see these photographs are pretty attractive and they can all have a story they will all have a story attached to them so let's just pick this one here it is eight likes and there's a story an inspiring day at Northwest Yoga Conference with all day intensives and it certainly looks like uh, an intensive day where people are captivated now the question you you'll be asking is how do I get these photographs into my Twitter feed as photos and the trick that I'm going to show you here is I'm, I've used a piece of software called ift.tt now ift.tt stands stand just some, it's very simple it stands for if this then that so if we open up ifttt and we'll see in the, so it's if if this then that And to IFTTT is a free service. They allow you to connect one Twitter account to this particular account. So you and to open an account, all you need is a unique email address. So I have opened an account. You'll see here it's called Norma Six. It has a unique email address. It posts to my Twitter account and it is drawing information from Instagram here so if we just step through this first recipe and the recipes are incredibly easy to construct and um, I'll go through and show you how to construct them basically it says if is a new photo by Kino Yoga which is I identified as a person who makes good photographs post a tweet with the image to at go for yoga health and this is so that's what the recipe is. If a new photo by Kino, you post a tweet with image to at go for yoga health. And here's the, the trigger. The trigger is a new photo by a specific user. The action is post a tweet, and these are the words hash GFYH. So that's my hashtag, go for yoga health. Thanks, the username. So I could see that the person who contributed the photograph gets credit and the caption that comes from and the image URL all of that stuff is done automatically for me the other recipe that I have 
and we'll step into this one here is if a new photo by anyone with hashtag hash yoga everywhere then add photo to Twitter and to the Twitter buffer now I've done that for a reason buffer is a um, and we'll step across to buffer down um, buffer is a is a way of storing up your photographs or your your tweets so that they can be delivered on a timetable now you can open a buffer account for free it allows you one social profile I, I, this my account here is a paid account and what you'll see buffer looks like here is if I can get to show you so we're looking here at go for yoga health on the left uh, if I slide it that way you'll see a bit of better idea and you'll see here's a timetable and there's a queue that has a hundred photographs popped in there and if I go to every one of them you will see that there there's the image here's the image there these the this is the text that's come from from Instagram and there's that hashtag that we quite like yoga everywhere and this has been scheduled to go in at 1544 whatever day this one is that's probably yesterday but anyway you, you get you get the general idea so that's the photograph we saw yesterday yesterday was sad today I'm happy I've since changed the the, the way these messages are being delivered now on the free account the this buffer is is limited to to 10 photographs that's not a problem because the IFTTT process just keeps pulling photos whenever a new photo comes out it pops them into the buffer so there's my process for creating content that is engaging and all I'm going to do is periodically review review these and this particular one I actually don't like it because it's advertising someone else's product so I'm actually going to delete the tweet but I'm totally happy with the with the other ones so I'm totally happy with the images there I am supporting someone else's business but I will get this recognition from that person there and the the images are absolutely working and they're totally consistent with what I am trying to do so that's my process of building engaged content so now if we step across to staged and we just show how staged helps us deal with the follow and follow challenge page we're now logged into staged we'll step across to the one that we were looking at previously our inspiring and we'll see the dashboard here we can follow my fans people who recently unfollowed me unfollow your non-followers so people who are so what we're looking recently unfollowed you so I can just go and hit each one of these and bang just unfollow bang so this is very similar to what Crowdfire was doing, but that's fine. And it just keeps loading them up. That's as many. This one is not going to allow us to do so. I suspect what's happened is this account has been. For, and, and it just tells us that we've unfollowed in 20, 25 people so far. And then the other one is unfollow your non-followers. And the beauty about what Stage does is provided you've done the following through Stage, it keeps track of the oldest to the most recent and we can basically just unfollow these knowing full well that now there's something there's something weird going on in this in, in this interface here it, it's there's a there's a problem working between these two so some of these are working and some of these are not working but that's fine because the main thing is, is that it is doing what I'm trying to do so I, I'm not being very specific about these I'm basically just unfollowing them and what stage does is it times these things this button clicking so that Twitter does not think that you're running a machine to do this work 
and if we just go back up here we'll see we've unfollowed 57 people and I could just keep doing this and stage will eventually say don't do any more because you are reaching the unfollow limits so it will look after me now what I'm finding on this whole process is this is a process that once you've started building your followings you need to go and do this on a regular basis and built inside stage is an ability to do it so I've now followed unfollowed 107 people so I can go and follow roughly 100 people to build up my following and to, to build improve this ratio but if you just show this tool that stage provides I have shown it to you before is called smart follow and for five dollars a month staged will automatically run this process of following and unfollowing and they do it on a five days a week basis so you'll see yesterday followed and unfollowed they followed 137 unfollowed 160 from this person this profile the day before something similar and you see the unfollowed numbers are growing because the number of followers here is actually reasonably high so we're pushing up towards the limits that Twitter implies which is somewhere around the 200 mark once you've got over a certain level of followers and then on the 1st of March you only followed people and on the 29th of February it was a day off and we'll and you'll see you go through the list and as you can see you've been doing this for quite a while now and the beauty of it is is that you get a beautiful shape curve building from 1830 on February the 3rd to 2300 so added 500 people so nearly 20 percent increase and completely hands-off I kind of like that idea rather than having to do this and of course these tools are still available to me but I don't need to do that because someone else is managing this process for me totally hands-free so then if we go if we're, if we're in summary then we've talked about the process of following and unfollowing so particularly the process of unfollowing using the crowdfire tool and you can use any one of those what I just encourage you to do is to use one only and not to use bulk unfollowing use these ones where you have to click one at a time and then we've talked about the integration of putting photographs into your Twitter feed using ift.tt so if so ift.tt and I'll put the descriptions of these links into the into the description on the video YouTube video and then particularly we've talked about flowing that through buffer and the way I've set buffer up is to basically to say on one day we're going to do one two three four photographs a day so four posts a day they're spread out in time and we've got complete freedom to choose how often they are and the reason I do this is because my audience is spread right across the world so whether it's in Australia where I am or in the United States or the UK there are always followers who are ready to receive one of my tweets so I'm not concerned about over tweeting and this provides four tweets a day in the next video I'm going to talk a little more about providing other forms of content beyond images but that is enough for now I hope your um, your yoga work goes well and namaste